Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India to the lecture number 8, uh, we will continue with the two body system. So, in the two body system what we have done that uh, we got the relative motion equation and then we have reduced it into the form d a square r by d t a square plus mu by r cube r equal to 0, we have reduced into this form this is for two particle system where mu equal to g times m 1 plus m 2. So, here this is a typical case like suppose earth is here and around the earth moon is going on okay, in the orbit. Okay, so, uh, and somewhere inertial frame let us say this is my inertial frame in which I am looking for these motions this is r 1 and this is r 2 and this is r 1 2 okay, this is moon and here this is earth. So, as you know in this expression the relative expression we have got it after writing the uh, motion of these two particles this is m 1 and this is m 2. So, the relative motion we have already written that is the relative motion of m 2 relative motion of m 2 with respect to m 1 okay. and the same thing is applicable to the earth satellite also or it may be a moon satellite. Okay, so, once we have got this equation, so in this equation you can remember that r is a vector okay, of 3 dimension vector, this is 3 d 3 dimensional or this is a vector in three dimension, this is a vector r is a vector in three dimension. So, as we have discussed earlier we will get here three second order differential equation which are mu by r cube x equal to 0 if we break it up the other one we will get as d a square by y d t a square plus mu by r q y equal to 0 and d a square z by d t a square plus mu by r q z equal to 0. So, these are second order differential equations. Okay, and this will have two constants if uh, a total of two constants involved this will also have two constants involved this will also have two constants involved. So, a total of six constants are involved six constant. So, while we try to solve this equation so we must identify those six constants. So, all these six constants they are identified in the form of the orbital parameters. Meters, these are the six constants of integration.
these are the six constants of integration and which are called the orbital parameters. Now, these are a e small i capital omega a small omega and theta what they are called is the semi major axis e is called the eccentricity i is called the inclination of the orbit of the orbit capital omega this is called the nodal angle small omega this is called argument of perigee and theta this is called the true anomaly. So, now assume that earth is located here. So, this is I will write this as point O. Okay. So, at O earth is located. and with respect to this one orbit is there which is inclined like this. So, this is the plane of x y plane of inertial frame and with respect to this, this orbit is inclined and this angle is i. I will come to the actual picture, but just I am trying to show you how the things are working. Okay, so, uh, here I have uh, if you see this uh, file. So, in this file you can assume that this is the x y plane okay, which is the inertial plane and if I take the upper cover like this. Okay, so, you are creating angle and this angle I am creating this is called the uh, inclination angle okay. and in this plane as you can see this is the uh, if I incline it like this. Okay, if I incline it like this and draw a orbit like this here. Okay. So, that indicates that your orbit is inclined with the inertial plane. So, here this blue line uh, which is shown here this constitutes your x y plane of the inertial frame and this is your orbit. In a better way we can represent on it on the next page. this is the z direction of inertial frame this is 
this is x direction of inertial frame this is y direction of inertial frame. So, you can see that here with the this is the plane of the inertial frame which I have drawn here by this uh, blue line actually the color has been changed. So, this angle is here your angle of inclination i. So, what you are doing that this red semicircle or it may be part of some ellipse which is shown inclined. So, actually initially it is a lying in the x y plane and then I am lifting it. So, by lifting I am creating this angle i. So, this z also it will get inclined and this will come here which I will write as i the angle of inclination. So, i becomes here inclination angle. angle from this place to this place this called capital omega which we have written as nodal angle and here just uh, keep in mind that uh, this red line I have kept here in this place as broken that means the red line going on the back side of the vertical axis which is the z axis here in this direction. This I have done purposefully and here in here in this place this is coming over this means the y axis is lying below the red line. Okay. Now, let us assume that the satellite is lying somewhere here it may be moon or it may be artificial satellite man made satellite. So, satellite is located somewhere here and this is the radius vector to the satellite which will write as r. Then we have quite often I have mentioned the peri apsis. So, uh, this will indicate by p this will write as s. So, this line is periapsis. Periapsis is the shortest approach of the satellite to the center of attraction. So, this is the nearest approach. So, p is the perigee location or periapsis location which is the shortest distance of the satellite from the origin slash center. So, this is your origin O this will name as n and here this will name as n prime. Okay. So, the angle from here to here this we write as a small omega. So, a small omega we have already indicated this is called the argument of perigee. And angle from here to here this we write as theta and theta we have written as true anomaly. So, if you see here we have been able to identify the total of four parameters which are capital omega, i, omega and theta. Rest to a and e these are related to the orbit which are the semi major axis and the eccentricity. So, semi major axis in the case if the orbit is elliptical and this is one of the focus, this is another focus f a star okay. and this is the center. 
So, distance from here to here as we have done in the conic section this is your semi major axis and eccentricity E already we have defined and again we are going to define it. So, eccentricity is related to how say here in the case there is no eccentricity. So, the focus will coincide with this center C we can write here as C and in that case this gets reduced into the form of a circle. So, eccentricity causes the focus to move away from the center the higher the eccentricity the more it will you will show it towards moving towards this boundary or uh, on this trajectory. Okay. So, a total of 6 parameters are there and these 6 parameters we need to work out also. So, in the two body problem where a satellite is moving around the earth or moon is moving around the earth or the earth is moving around the sun in all these cases we try to look for the relative motion. So, how the orbit is appearing around the earth if the satellite is going on. So, what we will look for? We will look for that where it is located any time I have to trace the satellite. See if your satellite at the launching time if you do not know in which direction it has been sent and in which orbit it is moving. So, it will be lost okay, sitting in one place and using your radar you would not be able to trace it because it is like discovering a, a needle on the surface of the sea, uh, beneath the surface of the sea. That means, uh, on the bottom of the sea the water it is full of water and on the bottom a needle is there and that needle you have to locate it becomes so difficult. So, orbit determination gives you in which orbit your satellite is going on so that you can orient your radar in a particular direction and whenever satellite passes over your uh, location. So, you will be able to trace you will be able to upload the data you will be able to give certain command you will be able to download certain data and so on. So, from that point of view this orbit is very important without this no satellite can operate. Okay, so, with this we proceed further. So, already if you remember that we have proved T plus u this equal to E prime where T was 1 by 2 V square and u by minus mu by r this equal to E prime and this relation we have used uh, sometimes back if we go on the previous pages. See this relationship we have derived. Okay, this relationship can be derived if we solve the right hand side. What will be the value of the right hand side? So this we are going to do, and this is called E prime is called a specific energy because m is not present here. A specific energy or energy per unit mass or per unit mass. And we have to solve this. If we solve it, we will get that equation we have utilized earlier. So, this is our objective right now to work it out. So, we start with this. And also we have the relationship r square theta dot this equal to h. So, here we will replace this this is r square theta dot is h by r square whole square So, this is our relation number 1 So, if you remember we had this one 
on the right hand side we had certain quantity and plus 1 constant c which we were utilizing. Now, we will find out what is the value of the r we will evaluate and uh, r dot and therefore, we will be able to evaluate and if we insert here in this place. So, we will be able to evaluate this e prime. So, r equal to l y 1 plus e cos theta we reorganize it and write it as l by r equal to 1 plus e cos theta. Why we have done this? Because then the differentiation will be uh, easy in the sense that we do not have to take the uh, differentiation of this quantity which is in the denominator. We have bring it here in this place. So, you will see that how easy this becomes minus l by r square we differentiate with respect to t. So, l by r square r dot then this becomes on the right hand side e sin theta times theta dot and there is a minus sign here. So, this implies r dot equal to minus minus sign will go r square divided by l e sin theta times theta dot. Okay, and uh, rest r is known to us in this format theta dot is uh, again r by l is there. So, uh, we can do some simplification here let us go to the next page and then we will think of doing the simplification this is theta dot. So, this is equation number 5. So, now we need to insert here in this equation. So, r dot from the previous page this is r square by l r square by l times e sin theta theta dot this is whole square this is r dot square plus r square theta dot square plus r square times theta dot theta dot is h by r square so, this whole square. Sin theta times theta dot here part is missing. Sin theta times theta dot. H square by R square. h square by this is r square here theta dot also we need to eliminate r to the power 4 theta dot is h by r square so here this becomes c a square sin a square theta h square r to the power 4 r to the power 4 that cancels out leaving us with l square Okay, so, h square divided by r square we take it outside then this gets reduced to 1 plus e a square r a square sin a square theta divided by l a square.
h square by r square coming out. So, 1 plus h square has gone here. So, e a square r a square sin a square theta divided by l a square this is ok. So, h a square by r a square 1 plus now if we know that r by l this equal to 1 plus e cos theta or uh, let me write the equation in proper way and from there we will write it r equal to l by 1 plus e cos theta. So, r by l is 1 by 1 plus e cos theta not So, we utilize here it in this place. So, this is e a square sin a square theta divided by. So, if we insert this, so this becomes 1 plus e cos theta square. So, our v a square then gets reduced to h square by r square times 1 plus I will fetch all these things on the next page e a square sin a square theta plus 1 plus e cos theta whole a square one plus now break this and rewrite. So, 2 e cos theta plus e a square cos a square theta plus e a square sin a square theta e cos theta whole a square. Two e cos theta and these two terms can be combined together to give us e cos theta whole square ok. And we are aware that h square equal to mu times l h square equal to mu times l. So, we utilize this put here this as the r square times 1 plus 2 e cos theta plus e a square divided by 1 plus e cos theta whole square. Okay. Now, we will do a little simplification here in this place. So, what we will do? We will try to eliminate this r. The, we, we have got this uh, oh, ok. So, we do not need to eliminate this r because finally, we have to write the equation this expression we are writing in terms of r only. So, we will not eliminate that. We keep it in this format. Now, the other part we have minus mu by r. Okay. So, we go back to the go to the next page. So, we were looking for v square by 2 minus mu by r this equal to e prime and this is the quantity which we are trying to evaluate. So, we will write here 1 by 2 and v square from the previous page then we fetch mu by l r square mu mu l by r square mu l by r square and times 1 plus 2 e cos theta e a square 2 e cos theta times e a square divided by 1 plus e cos theta whole a square minus mu by r this equal to e prime. we take out 
mu l by r square of the bracket. So, we get here 1 by 2 e cos theta e square cos theta whole square and uh, mu has gone from this place l we are taking here. So, the l also we are taking outside here in this place. So, l we have to write here and r only one r is here, here we have the r square. So, we must have another r here in this place. Okay. So, this is the quantity here, if we take it inside. So, this is mu r r cancels out. So, here uh, we get r. So, mu l l cancels out, this is, this is fine. So, you can check it, we get this quantity. So, 1 by 2 mu l by r square and then we know again utilize this relationship r by l or uh, r equal to l by 1 plus e cos theta. Okay, so, from there r by l will be 1 by e cos theta. So, we get here 2 e cos theta e a square divided by e cos theta e cos theta whole a square minus r by l. So, this is 1 by 1 plus e cos theta this equal to e prime. We need to expand it whole square. So, 1 plus 2 e cos theta plus e a square minus uh, 1 minus e cos theta equal to e prime. Now, this one, this one will cancel out and here this part, this part we have to subtract. So, this will be e cos theta plus e a square, e cos theta, e cos theta plus e a square divided by 1 plus e cos theta whole square. Okay, this equal to e prime. So, mu l by 2 r square, we take it outside common. So, this is uh, e cos theta. Okay. Somewhere we have missed out one term here. Mm. This 2 we have taken it outside. Okay. So, there will be a term here which will come as 2. So, that that gets cancelled out. So, this is 2 r. Here also this 2 should appear. Okay, Because here this is only mu by r. We forgot this factor. So, this is 2. So, this becomes 2 here. This also gets into the format 2 e. Okay. So, we need to correct it. This is 1. We will write freshly on the next page. So, to here the cancellation takes place. this one and this one then cancels out. This is 2 times 1 plus e cos theta and here 2 e cos theta is there. So, 2 and 2 e cos theta that case cancel out and here we get e a square minus 1. So, e a square minus 1. So, in the next page we have to rub it out.
So, from the previous page this is mu mu l by 2 r square mu l by 2 r square and in the bracket this is uh, e a square minus 1 e a square minus 1 divided by 1 plus e cos theta whole square equal to e prime. Okay, and whatever the simplification we can do at this stage we will do. So, already r we have written as by 1 plus e cos theta. So, this implies l equal to r times 1 plus e cos theta and l square equal to r square 1 plus e cos theta square. So, if we look here in this one, so this gets reduced to 2 this factor and this factor together that makes it l square times e square minus 1 this equal to e prime. So, this gets reduced to e square minus 1 mu times and l l cancels out this is 2 l equal to e prime. So, we are close to our result e prime now we will pull out this we will write this as e a square and this is 2 l equal to a times 1 minus e a square the result we have already derived. So, we use this. So, this gets reduced to mu by 2 a. So, e prime equal to minus mu by 2 a. So, thus we have e prime equal to minus mu by 2 a. So, whatever equation is now v square by 2 minus mu by r equal to minus mu by 2 a. And if we reorganize it, so v square by 2 this will be mu by r minus mu by 2 a, we take out mu by 2 as common. So, this becomes uh, 2 r minus uh, 2 divided by r, 2 divided by r and here uh, this factor ok for we write in a phrase step here this is v a square this equal to 2 mu by r minus mu by a and here if we take out mu outside so this is 2 by r minus 1 by a so this v a square equal to mu times 2 by r minus 1 by a this name is given as like this and this result we have utilized earlier okay. and how we have reached to this place we have started from this place here here v square. So, for while solving the problem earlier which was related to this issue where we had to determine this r dot s square we utilized the result here directly at some step. Okay. So, without that uh, without this it is not possible to work out that problem. Okay, so, this completes uh, this particular part next uh, And this is very important. Let me discuss about this particular expression here. Say, if a circle, if the orbit is a circle, so then at then that case r equal to a. This is case number a. Uh, so, v square mu 2 by r minus 1 by r equal to mu by r and v equal to 
mu by r under root be a case of parabola. For this case, a equal to 0 and therefore, v square this becomes 2 mu by r or v equal to 2 mu by r under root. In the case of ellipse, so this expression v square equal to mu times 2 by r minus 1 by a under root, it remains as it is, where eccentricity here in this case lies between 0 and 1. In the case of parabola, eccentricity is e equal to 1 here in this case eccentricity is 0. In the case of hyperbola, where e is greater than 1, so v square is given by 2 mu times 2 divided by r, this is r and a in that case is negative. So, that makes it 1 by a. So, this is for the case of hyperbola. And later on you will find this equation very useful in solving many problems. This is v a square again. These are the common errors which creeps in while writing. This is v. Let me check on the previous page also this is ok, here this is ok, this is ok. Okay. Okay, so, we have completed this part. In the case of parabola a equal to infinity, what we have written see they, they, these are the mistakes which is taking place after getting tired a equal to infinity and therefore, if you put here in this part a equal to infinity this part vanishes okay, and you get 2 mu by r. If a equal to 0 that becomes infinity it is a ab absurd. Okay. So, a equal to infinity here in this case in the circle r equal to a in the case of hyperbola a is negative in the case of parabola with this ellipse a is positive here a is less than 0 and therefore, we write it with plus sign. Okay, so, we will uh, conclude this lecture here and uh, continue in the next one. Thank you for listening.